Hi there, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showroom. Today it was posted on our forum, how many times do I have to turn my circular polarizer to get the effect? Well, it really doesn't have to be a lot of times. This isn't like a Tootsie Roll pop. You don't have to get to the center. So what you're going to do is you're going to first thread it on. Now, of course, to be able to get a proper filter size, you want to make sure you're getting the correct diameter for your existing lens. This happens to be the 24 to 105 from Canon, and this one is an F4, so it is a diameter of 77 millimeters. It says it on the lens cap and also on the nomenclature. So once I have the filter on here, you don't put this very tight because remember, as you turn this, because it is two filters in one, it will tend to tighten it also. So just put it on there so that it doesn't have any mishaps and it falls off. And as you turn it, when you're looking at it in your viewfinder or in the live view, you will actually see the polarization effect. Most of the effect takes place with reflection or contrast in the sky. I'm going to attach some images that I shot with this because it just happened to be a really nice rainstorm and I got some interesting puddles outside. So I'll show you that with the reflection, you can see the actual sky on the puddle, or you actually see the water when you turn it. And it isn't a lot of turns. Usually it's no more than a quarter turn, but the beauty of it is that you will actually see it in real time. So once you have the effect that is desired, snap away or start doing your video recording and you're done. If you like this video, click on the like button underneath and remember, subscribe to our channel. Happy shooting. Thank you.